Hello, my name is Achim Bartande, and this is part of my video series on business advice. Today, I'm going to talk about a very sobering topic, which is not brought up much in entrepreneurship, and that's the topic of suicide, suicidal thoughts uh, as an entrepreneur and being a business owner. And I speak about this because sadly, uh, many entrepreneurs have taken their lives because of suicidal thoughts because of what they perceive as failure, because of the stress that comes with entrepreneurship. And I want all of you to understand uh, that there are other ways out, that there's things you can do, and that, that that's, not the, that's not what you wanna do to get out of it. So first, I'm Christian, so I talk from a Christian perspective. And my, what has helped me really is my relationship to Christ and the love I know God has for me. And that has really helped me because uh, one, knowing that he knows all my flaws, so, and he still loves me, so I, I know I have unconditional love. And that's really soothing in a world of entrepreneurship where you want to be successful and you believe people like you or love you because of how much success you may attain. And when you're a failure that you, sometimes people get the thought that they shouldn't exist or that work, life is not worth living. And, um, and sadly, some people go through with that. And I hope that no one who watches this video uh, ever goes through with that. Uh, so how do I deal with uh, stress? How do I keep from making those type of decisions? As I said, it, it starts with my Christian faith. And for me, it comes down to, it starts with prayer. Um, I, because I know God loves me, it starts with keep on continuing that. Um, and that's what prayer is, uh, communicating with God. So constantly communicating with God and letting him know my troubles. It says, cast, cast your fears upon me. So letting him know, hey, this is what I'm scared about. This is where I feel like I'm failing. This is where I feel I'm inadequate. And I need help. And telling God, I need help. There's things I can't do alone. And I, I need help. And so that's the first part. Uh, and sometimes uh, that that sometimes I, I feel like I need more and the blessing and it actually happened to me a, a week ago where I was praying over something and I just felt like I needed more and what happened is I went to church uh, for two we have a Tuesday night prayer service which you should uh, you can stream in also and you can submit prayer requests uh, go to it's time to pray dot org or I'll put that in the description but it's called it's time to pray dot org or you can search Times Square Church. Uh, it's a church in New York City. So if you're here, you can come in person to sign 51st and Broadway, uh, Sundays, Tuesdays, and Fridays. On uh, Tuesday nights, there's a prayer service. So you can come and pray and just bring whatever problems you have and just leave it before God and there's a whole church praying with you. Uh, and for me, it was really helpful to be in that. And I didn't realize how much I needed that, being around other people praying. And um, that just made me, made me feel so much better, gave me peace, and helped me from not going to, all these times helps me not getting to that point of suicidal thoughts. And it keeps me, and I think that's something that's good, where you need to pray, but you also need to go to church and be around other people who pray for you, who are praying too, uh, and having that community. That community, for me, it just, it was, that really helped me. I can't tell you how much that helped me. So I'm, that's why I'm here. I'm here to give you tips that help me um, so they can help you. So that was very beneficial for me. Uh, so that's, that's to it's time to pray.org. Uh, and this is all free, of course, it's all free. Uh, after that, I would say um, praying um, and, be, and because God is God and he knows that you can just be honest in entrepreneurship and running a business, there's a lot of things Fake it till you make it, uh, strive, everything's supposed to be all right. All the media saying like, oh, this guy made five million, oh, this guy made 50 million, oh, this, oh, this, and you're seeing, and you're like, what am I doing wrong? How come I'm in the negative? How come I'm only making 50 grand? How come I'm only making 100 grand? How come I'm only making half a million? Things like this, how come they're doing so much better and we started at the same time? But you can just talk to God, let that all out with God, and you can be honest with him in ways you can't be honest with other people. Also, um, along that lines, having some good friends, one or two good friends or mentors 
that you can be completely honest with uh, because another problem and a compounding effect of having these type of thoughts is if you have them and you're alone and you're isolated, then then you keep then it, you just go in a spiral. So find somebody that you can talk with honestly, who truly cares for you, who's wise. Um, in my eyes, who's Christian? That's what I suggest. Uh, but find somebody who you can talk to. Don't do it alone. Do not do it alone because then the thoughts just start building up in your mind and it's you fighting a million thoughts. So have some other people who can help you break through that and who check in on you so you know that you're loved, so you know that people will miss you if you're gone, so you know how important your life is to people and that people care for you. And I'll really help you from going across that edge. Uh, other things. So... Oh, and speaking of that, um, so if you're on the other side, such as uh, if you if you know CEOs, entrepreneurs, people in high stressful, people who seem successful, people who are striving for success, if you see they just went through something, whether it's somebody passed away in their family, they just had a breakup, they're having marriage troubles, they're having some relationship issues, uh, all types of things, check in on them, check in on them. It's so important to check in on them. Don't just assume. Oh, this person just did this. Oh, they're super successful. Oh, they're going well. Because a lot of see, they just smile. We, uh, they smile through things. I know me, I smile through stress. I smile. People don't even know people pass away in my life. Uh, uh, and I smile through it. And I keep going and I go. But checking on people, it's so important to check in on people and make sure people are doing all right. Show them that you truly care. Dig. And it's continuous. Especially if you hear something just happen, call them. Call them. Say, hey, how you do? Hey, let's talk. Let's go grab lunch. I want to see you. And just talk to them, Alan. You don't have to always ask them directly, but it's good to also but build that relationship and let them know that you're there to talk um, and build that trust. So if that person ever feels something, they'll think of you and maybe they'll, you'll get a random phone call and say, hey, can we talk? Or hey, uh, I have this going on. And then they'll be more willing to share with you and you can, so, um, you can keep something you can keep something from uh, getting to a bad point. Another good thing to do is exercise. Uh, exercise, me, I love playing soccer and basketball. So exercising uh, consistently, I'm not as great as that. I've actually changed um, one that I'm doing much better now, but exercising consistently and uh, that helps build up your endorphins, that helps keep you balanced, that brings positivity, that helps you get leave everything out there, get all that stuff that's built up getting it out, which is so important. So go exercise and do things like that. Uh, so that is, do I have anything else? Any other tips? Those, there may be some other tips, but uh, walking, or I find walking along water helps a lot. Uh, for me, I love water. So walking along water helps a lot. It helps you ease the stress. And this, is, this isn't just advice for CEOs, it's also if you're working at a company or something. You can all use this advice, but uh, I just, since I'm in that space, that's who I'm dedicating these videos to. So, but anybody, anybody really can use this advice. So walking along water, I find that so peaceful. So I'm going for a long walk, uh, biking, uh, some people hiking, getting out in nature. Uh, but doing things that really de uh, lower your stress levels, help gives you a sense of enjoyment. Uh, and really helps you. Uh, so my name is Achim Bartande. That this is my video segment on how to uh, how to start and grow your business. And I really don't want to do much promotion in this video because this video is really, uh, really, really just want you guys to get some good help. You can follow us for you can follow us for more tips. Uh, subscribe. Matter of fact, just share. Please share this video with whoever needs it. Uh, it doesn't have to be a public share. You can maybe just send them the link. Uh, uh, if it's on Instagram, direct message them, a private link, things like that. But let people know so they have these tips. So if you want to tell them the tips yourself. But really, I, I just don't want to see uh, more stories of entrepreneurs uh, committing suicide. Uh, God bless you. Hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, our YouTube channel is Atande Business Media. If you want to look at any of our other videos. Uh, also, if you have suggestions you want me to do a follow-up on this, feel free. If you want to send us a private message because you just want to um, say, hey, you're going through some stuff, you can message us on Instagram at Atande Advisors uh, on Instagram, or you can message us on Facebook at Atande and Advisors with the ampersound. 
uh, and let us know what, what's going on, what you, how you're feeling. Uh, God bless you. I hope you all do well. Keeping you all in my prayers. Uh, today's actually Tuesday night prayer, so if you if you see this, you can stream in. It starts at 7 p.m. Uh, the church is uh, tsc.nyc uh, or Times Square Church. You can Google that, or maybe you can stream from its time to pray. Also, as I say, you can submit the prayer request there. But God bless you. I really hope all of you do well, um, and I wish the best for you. For me, that's a relationship with Christ. So I wish the same for you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. And know that you are loved. God loves you. All right? God bless.